little Sunday afternoon here. Ian has been cutting some of the window frames that we have. Love you, babe. How's it coming? Nice. Yeah, you like to move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not. Trying to take a little time today to soak all this in, relax, do something kind of brainless to just have a quiet moment to myself i'm not the type of person that's just gonna sit down on the couch and have a quiet time in front of the tv that that's at nighttime. but for me keeping myself busy moving my hands doing something being productive that's kind of how i relax uh, so i'm gonna give you guys our achievement for this weekend check this out absolutely stinking amazing Got these eye joists. We got our roof covering the center portion of the house. All of our rooms are framed out. We've got some touch up work to do, some finish work. The guy's got the complete exterior framed. Well, minus this and the center section. The deal from the beginning was the inside of the house is hers to decide what she's going to do with it. And so there's a couple of things I'm fighting her on, but. Uh, this one definitely gonna give her her sheetrocked walls on the inside of the bedroom to make that feel nice and cozy um, Not structural steel and cold. We'll make it cozy for her. So As you can see behind me, I don't know if we got any footage of this showing up. I don't think we did but we Had Matt and Tony from BRC get us this snorkel lift this 47 foot snorkel lift this thing is it's amazing so to have this to get all these walls framed and to get up onto the roof to get those tjis on um absolute must so you're wondering what am i doing right now to make myself relax well i am going to get up there and i'm going to blow holes in my window openings on this upper master side. All right, guys, here we go. We're moving on up. I will not be able to use the plasma cutter once the inside walls are framed out because I'll probably start the wood on fire because this thing is a fire breathing dragon. So I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna blow these holes out so that the inside of those walls can be furred out sometime this week. That should work good. I don't know what else to do. With a grinder, I'm sure that would have taken a friggin' hour, but said this this plasma cutter is this plasma cutter is worth its weight in gold. So let's move to the next window. Window number two.
apparently the gas is from plasma cutting from the metal burning the metal like that apparently it's super super bad for you so if you're gonna do some plasma cutting wear a mask that's or a respirator that's gonna help you I mean I'm outside and stuff I don't know if this is the best quality one but it works I don't smell stuff coming through I'm gonna move this lift and go up inside of there and take a look from the insides see what it looks like oh man this is awesome you ready how cool is that holy buckets that is so stinking cool got a little problem up here cutting this one up to the ceiling because of the glue in there so it leaves all that burn mark but i'm pretty sure that's gonna wash off just fine but that's why we didn't want these this wall here is gonna get furred out with studs and like i said that thing shoots out a flame like you wouldn't believe on the back side of that so i didn't want to I didn't want to have that wood back there, but looks like I have to put some screws in this just to snug it up. Wow, does that look awesome. All right, gonna give everyone a view from the throne. Right here in the back corner of the bed, of the bedroom, back corner of the bathroom is where the toilet is, right about here, I'm sitting on it. So I can at least, maybe I'll put a bird feeder up there. So I didn't get to have a, a window in my floor by the toilet but i got this massive window in the shower that might be a little bit too big of a window in the shower i don't know uh we're gonna try it don't have a choice now we just cut a hole in there so um and then this is the window for the laundry room sink washer dryer countertop Jana's got this all mapped out in her head. She's super excited about all the cabinets and nooks and crannies she can put stuff in. So she's pretty, pretty excited. Um, we have a matching window to this one in the bedroom, which is the very, what, doesn't that just look amazing? Oh my gosh. We have a matching one to the one in the laundry room that's going right here. So. We're gonna get this one cut out and we're done with the plasma cutting for today. Just wanted to relax a little bit. So as that strad man says, views on views. So this is our view from the bedroom. This thing's like five and a half feet, six feet across. These two are the same six feet, six feet, and then we're seven feet tall. So we've got seven foot by 13 feet wide of a window and there's actually going to be four there's two here and two here but they're all in the same unit 
And then we've got the window here, the egress window, or the window that we can crawl out of if there's a fire. And that's this one right here, which is gonna be looking out onto our patio, and hopefully someday, in-ground swimming pool right here. That's the hopes. And then up there, we'll have the rooftop patio where all the parties are happening. But yeah, everything's looking, everything's looking stellar. Huge weekend this weekend. Wow, we got a lot done this weekend. So, I'm gonna give you guys a little ride. The kids want to ride on the lift, so I'm gonna try and talk Jana into getting on it um, and see if I can't boom them guys up and give them a view from 50 feet. Their crew that came this weekend, you guys, whew, amazing work. But what I figured out is with these construction projects, well, nothing's going as you have it planned in your head. But we are gonna, we're gonna roll with the punches. We're gonna take those little hurdles. We're gonna learn from them. And as we're sitting right now, everything looks absolutely stunning and. Um, things are moving along really well. So I think what the plan is, Jerry and his guys, I think next Saturday, weather permitting, um, we're gonna have those guys come out and finish everything. These center walls, um, finish the eye joists on the roof, get the roof sheeted so that it's ready for the roofer. Another thing I hope is gonna happen this week is we get the spray foam done on top of these two containers and on top of those two containers so that they can be sheeted and then the roofing guy can come over and put the rubber membrane on the roof. So a lot going on. It's been absolutely bonkers, but um, my head's staying above water and we're keeping our eye on the prize and that is moving out of the garage and moving into the house in the sometime in the next year, I hope. 